Hello guys, one more week together and today I would like to talk with you about walk in your authority. So let's read the Bible text that is in Matthew 28 verse 18 and 19. So then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You know, this is an amazing commandment from the Lord to us, his disciples. Most Christians know they have this duty. So why are they not normally effective in doing it? Simply because they lack authority. And without authority, we cannot carry out the command with success. Actually, we need both. We need authority and we need also power. They are two different things. Authority speaks of the position that we have received in Christ Jesus and about our legal rights as children of God, joint heirs with Christ. Power speaks of the resources that this position releases to us. You know, in the book of Acts, we see a verse that says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So we have already received authority and power. So we will have authority, the position, the legal rights, and we also have the power, the baptism with the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit, what more do we need? We need to believe and act in faith. If we don't act in faith, it doesn't matter how great the authority or power we already have. They will not work for us. So today, make a decision to not waste the authority and power you have, but to step out in faith. Let's reign in life and build the kingdom of heaven in earth. Let's reign in life and build the kingdom of heaven on earth. And remember, you are greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved.